This is HP Dragonfly 13 inch Windows 11 laptop and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 in UEFI. Okay, so first of all you should have one bootable Windows installer USB like that. If you don't know how to create one you can check the video link could be in the description or you can get some help by Rollforce or you may visit Microsoft official site and you can get some help from there. Once you created the USB installer correctly, then you should have one adapter if you have this model. Why? Because once you get into the main setup page, it's going to disable the trackpad, okay? And this laptop does have only one USB port and two Type-C and one Type-C for charging, okay? So what I'm going to do with this adapter, I'm going to connect my wired mouse and then I'm going to shut it down and after shut down I'm going to turn back on and I'm going to keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS okay so keep pressing F10 yeah now it's loading up I need to enter my BIOS password if you don't have any password then you're going to see the screen like that all right so as you can see here there are four sections main security advanced UEFI so from the main you can see the machine details like HP Dragonfly 13.5 but there is nothing to do so let's go to security. From here we're going to enable few options. First one is secure boot configuration which is that one. And from here we need to make sure tick mark on it, it means it's selected or enabled. And then we're going to go to TPM okay. So TPM should be right here. As you can see it's available and TPM state is enabled as well so leave it like that and let's go to the bottom and check if there is anything so hard drive utility we're going to check uh, let's leave it like that that's all fine here now we're going to go to advanced option which is this and from here we need to get into boot options which is that one make sure USB storage you keep it enabled and then leave rest like that and go at the bottom as you can see there are two available options okay this one as you can see it says m.2 ssd windows boot manager means the current windows in there and second boot is the usb stick i'm going to leave it like that why because i can restart it and get into temporary boot menu by pressing f9 okay either you can go that way or we can switch that one on the top let me show you how so first thing select it you see once you click twice it's going to disable it so make sure you do once and then hit enter as you can see now arrow two arrows right if you press up it's going to go on the top and now if i press tick it's going to be first boot and m.2 is second boot I don't want to do that in this way so I'm going to take uh, this one as a first boot options so I'm going to hit enter again press the up arrow to get into the top on the menu and I'm going to click here fine pretty much that's all now we're going to get into main section and then we're going to save and exit it save and exit yes now we're going to keep pressing F9 to get into temporary boot option. Okay, I'm going to choose my middle one which is UEFI, five send disk. All right, so from here we're going to choose uh, United Kingdom. Next. Yeah. We're going to accept terms and condition. Now here are a few party jobs. As you can see, we're going to delete all of them. But if you do that, we're going to lose the data. So I'm going to start from the top. Delete it. Make sure you back up your data before you get to this point. So press OK. Delete. Now it shows 476. This one 
to be honest this one is 512 gig if i want to make a partition i can click here and select the amount but i don't want it so i just want to keep it single partition i'm going to hit next now and the main process would begin and it's going to load up everything from the usb to this system and then it will be ready to use we might have some sort of difficulties with the drivers and stuff so we need to up to date it okay which i'm going to show you later on So finally the windows have been set up everything is fine now we need to update the drivers because trackpad is no longer working the driver is missing and also many other drivers as you can see i'm not able to even connect into wi-fi so what i done to solve this problem i had a wired connection and first i'm going to create desktop icon from there i'm going to get into device manager from device manager, I'm going to see how many drivers are missing. As you can see, there is a big list and we need to update all the drivers. There are a couple of ways to update it. One of them, you can visit the official site and download it. Another one, you can do it through the Windows update. So what I'm doing now, I connected my Ethernet cable. I mean, sorry, Cat5 cable into an adapter rj45 adapter and then the other end is like type c so once i connect it in i don't need any drivers or anything now my dragonfly hp dragonfly does have the word internet connection and from here i'm going to get into windows update and from there automatically it's going to update all the drivers now when you select windows update it might not update every single drivers, but most of them would get up to dated. If anything is missing, then you can always visit the official site, HP driver support, and then from there manually, you can update the drivers. So we're gonna see there is a big list of updating and I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of hours. Um, try to leave your charger connected because sometimes these windowed updates also update your BIOS, so make sure charger is connected. And then it's going to take few restarts. And from all restarts, you're going to see the trackpad is working, sound system is working, everything will be fine. So thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.